I'm delighted to have you back on my channel. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect HTML form to MySQL database using PHP. Because we're going to be using PHP, you need to have a server. So I basically install XAMPP and I have Apache and MySQL running. So you need to have XAMPP in order to run this application. And then this is the database. At the moment, I have only three records within this database. And I'm going to show you how to insert records into this database. Now, let's try and see if we're going to set some record. Then let's say the email is admin at gmail.com and let's say a mail and then the phone number. Let me just add a phone number and then I'll add some random password. So now once I click on submit, you can see this is showing what's successful. We can even set this record to appear at the moment at the middle of this. So I've submitted this. If you go back to the data, we have three records. But once you go ahead and then reload this particular database, you should be getting this record updated. So now we have what four records. So this is the last record and that me at gmail.com. I'm going to walk you through how you can basically send records to the database. Okay. So now let's jump right into action and see how we can create this. Because I'm using Zam, everything over here is within my Zam folder. So you can just go to your drive C. And then locate your ZAM folder and then go to the HT docs. And then within this HT docs, we have everything within this folder. So I'm going to use this new file called the new pro. So you create a new folder and then open this with your favorite code editor. I'm using VLC code editor. I'm using VLC code editor and then I recommend that to anyone who wants to code. Now I have three files, so I have a bootstrap file here which you can download and then use. And we are basically not going to do anything to bootstrap, we're only going to focus on the database connection. And then the index page where we display our information so now what i'm going to do is basically to target my index page and then start creating my form for my page so just go ahead and let's give a title for this one let's say registration okay and then we're also going to link our bootstrap file within the header So after linking the bootstrap, we'll come to the body and then create our form. We'll first create a container. So I'm going to say div container. And then within this container, we're actually going to create three columns. I want my information or the records to be on the center. So I'll create three columns and only use the middle column for this particular project. So what I'm going to do is come here and then create my rule. So this rule, basically what I'm going to do is that I also add a class called align items start. And then I'll go ahead and create my three columns within this particular row. And I'm actually going to duplicate this. I'm actually going to duplicate this three times. You're only going to focus on the middle one for now. So our form is going to be within this middle of particular. Our form is going to be within the middle column. So let's create a new div here. Or let's first create our form within this particular class. So I'm first going to say form. So my form is not going to have any action because I'm going to process it within the same page. So I'm going to add a method for post. Okay, so within the form, we are now going to create our basic form for this project. I'm going to create div over here and then within this div i'm going to give it a class border bottom so i'm going to give a class border bottom gym bottom rather and within this i'm going to first create my form within this i'm going to create the label and the form so let me just go ahead and then 
add my labels. The first is going to be name. And then the input. Now input first is going to be name and it's going to be text. We're going to give a name as name, which we'll be using. We are basically going to use that name within our PHP application. So let's just call this as name. We can add a placeholder as well. Let's say enter name. And then also what we're going to do next is to actually give a class called form control and that is a bootstrap class. Okay, so now we can save this and then just load this within our browser. So my new project is basically going to be localhost slash new pro slash that's going to be the index dot php so this is our new project you can see this is actually a line at the center so we're just going to go ahead and then add the rest of the information to create this form so with this we're going to repeat the same process so first, let me just minimize it. We're going to repeat the same process for the rest of our form. So the rest of our form, the next one is actually going to be, this one is actually going to be email. So once we are done with this, just save this and then load this in the browser and let's see what we've done so far. So now we have the two forms now. We just want to just add some properties so you can see everything I'm doing, everything is going to be visible. So now what we're going to do is that we are going to target our form here and then give some few classes to this form. So over here, I'm going to give a class and the class is actually going to be a background color, BG secondary that is a class i'm going to give and i'm also going to add a pattern pattern of five and then margin of five and then text light i want my text to be white so you can see what exactly i'm doing so now i'm going to save this then i'll reload this so basically this is what i want to do so once I'm working on this and I'm adding my forms, you can see exactly what I'm doing. So now after adding my email, I'm actually going to add the rest of the information. We also need our phone number, gender and the phone number. So for gender, for gender, that is actually going to be a radio button. But we're still going to duplicate this. We'll duplicate this and then instead of email, we're going to say gender. So over here, input type is so going to be a radio button and the name is going to be gender, the placeholder, we're not going to have any placeholder for this, we're not going to have any placeholder for this, but I can just add this and then instead of using form control, because we are using checkbox, we're going to use a different class called form check input so we're going to use form check hyphen input so this is the class we're going to use for this let's save this we actually need one so this gender is actually going to be two so we actually going to do for male and then we actually going to do one for female so over here i'm actually going to say male and then just duplicate the same thing here and then I'll change this one to email. Okay, so now I can save this and then load this within my browser. 
and then we have a form ready now we need a phone number and then the email so we actually need a phone number and then the email to get our form done so i'm just going to add just copy this i'm just going to copy this come down here and actually paste this and i'm going to give this one a phone number And over here, I'm just going to leave it as text. And then here, it's going to be phone number. And it's going to be one word because I'll be using it within PHP. So here, I'll say enter phone number. And here, this is going to be phone control. Now, the last thing we need to add over here is actually going to be our button. We need a button to actually complete this. So let's duplicate this for the last time. Okay, we need a password in order to end this. So let's duplicate this, have our password next, and then we'll add the submit button. So password is going to be password. And here it's going to be enter password okay. and then it's actually going to be form control and the last thing we need to add is going to be our button and the button is going to be submit then i'm going to give a type the type of my button i'm going to say submit And I'm also going to give this button a class. Over here, I'll add a class, and that class is going to be etn, etn, and this is going to be primary. So this is a bootstrap class I'm going to use. And then let me also lastly add a name called submit. Okay. So I'm just going to save this and then our form should be ready. Okay, so our form is not set, but we've created our form now. We can actually go ahead and create our database and we'll start adding the rest of the information. We'll create a database next. Creating a database in PHP Madness. So over here, let's go ahead and click on new and then let's just create our database. Now my database is going to be just in a name. So let me say Correct. new db so we just need to take note of our database rec new db and i'll click on create so now our database is actually going to have six columns and then let's just say user that's what we're going to do click on go and then we first need to add the id which is auto incremented our id is going to be a primary key auto incremented so we just select auto incremented I'm so actually going to have the name, which is going to be about, uh, which is going to be hundred. I'm actually going to add the email, and uh, email. I'm also going to set it about uh, and then hundred. Also, we need a phone number. Phone number. I'll leave it as about uh, and then I'm going to leave it at twenty. We also need the password. Okay, we need a password. Okay, we need a gender. After the email, let's add a gender here. We need a gender first. And we actually need the phone number. And the phone number I'm also going to leave as back on and I put it around 50. And lastly, we need a password. And the password I'm also going to leave it as back on and then somewhere 50. So that is what we need for the database. And I'll click on save. Okay, so database now. We can actually go ahead and then create the connection to our database. So now that we have our database, we have our columns here, we have our form ready. We know the name of our database. We can now go back to our code and then actually create our database connection. So we are going to create the connection to our database, which is quite very simple. Everything is going to be within this code, the opening and closing tab of PHP. 
And now the first thing is we need to create a variable. We need to know the server name. Our server name is actually going to be our local host. And we need to end this with a semicolon. We do that also for the username. And the username for our database is the root. It's a root with no password. I didn't change my password. So we need a db password. I'll just call it db pass. And actually, I don't have a password for my database. And we need the db name. The database name is. Remember the name we give to our database it's right here. Our database name is Red New DB. So that's the name we're going to use. Red New DB. So that's what we're going to use over right here. So that is our database name. Now we are going to create the connection. So we come down here and let's say short for con variable. Create this and say new my SQL. Then within this, we're going to put this information over there. We're going to take the server name. We need the server name. We need our username. We need password. We need a password. And then finally, we need our data. Okay, so these are the information we need for our database. We are set. We have all the information for our database. Now we actually going to go ahead and then check the connection to our database. So we can put a comment over here and say check connection to db. Then come down. I then what we do is that let me just permit this. Then we come down here and check our connection. So I'm going to say if I'm, I'm going to just say if not connect. So it's actually going to be if my connection is not successful, then we want to do something. So if my connection is not successful, then we need to end this. I'm going to say die. And over here, we're going to see my SQL error. And this error is actually going to be our connection error. So this is the information we need for our database. So if you run this and we don't get any error, then that means our database is successfully connected. So we can just check this in our browser. I can just copy the path to this. And then let's open this within our browser. Let's open a new tab. Let me just make sure over here should be localhost. If there's no error, then our database connection is successful. So we don't have any error, which means our database is successfully connected. And we have our table to browse. There's no data within this database. So now we are not coming to send data into the database. We're going to create our connection. And in order to do this, we come to our code. And then I'm actually going to go to the top and here. And then yeah, I'm actually going to embed PHP here. So first, we're going to include a connection to our database, and in order to do that, we use the include keyword, and this is actually going to be db connect.php. So that's the connection to our database, and now we're going to make sure if the submit button actually has been clicked. So let's see if set, if it's set, if it's set, we're going to use the post method. So that is what's going to be. If everything is set, then we can post our record. So we make sure the submit button is selected. So over here, I'm going to say submit. And after that, I'm actually going to target my form. I'm going to create some variables. So that is going to be that's going to be name. So dollar underscore post.
first one is going to be the name so this is going to be the names we use within our text boxes over here we're going to use these names now so these are the names we're going to use over here i'm actually going to duplicate this one two three so i need just about five then the next one is actually going to be the email and here i'm going to have my email next one is actually going to be the gender here it's going to be gender so we need to make sure spelling is right we don't get any error we need to have a phone number and here it's going to be phone number And then lastly, we're going to have the password. And for password, I'm actually going to see the pass. And then here, to be one of it. Okay, so we are done with this. We are actually done with this. We come down here. These are the information I'm using. We just need to make sure every information is spot right. And we're now going to write this to your statement in order to insert this recording to our database. Come down here and write. SQL statements, which one is going to be let's see SQL is equal to and this is going to be a set statement. We're going to insert record into the database. So we insert into so we need to make sure we are targeting the table in the right table. So over right here the table name is user. So that is the table we're going to insert our record. Insert into user. So all that information we're going to insert into this. We're going to target We are actually going to target the name. We want to enter the name. We want to enter the name here. Email. Phone number. And password. We actually need one more thing, which is going to be the gender. So, gender here. Now, these are the information we're going to enter into our database, and we're going to now state the values. So over here, the next thing is going to be values. And these values are going to be in semi quotes. So the first one is going to be the name. going to have email I'm actually going to break this down I'm going to have gender I'm also going to have the phone number And then lastly, I'm going to have the password. Remember, I did it as password for short. So we have everything set. Now we need to run this query and make sure it's perfect. We need to come down here and then just write a simple one. Let's see if my SQL and as call query, we want to run this query. We need two variables and that is going to be the connection and then the query so these are the two variables we need over here and if everything is set then we should echo that everything is successful over here so what i'm going to do is to say echo Registration successful. And let me just end this. Else, else, and everything should just die. 
Oh, it's going to be like Let's call error And this should be a connection error And that is all for now That is all for now. If nothing is wrong with this code, then we need to be able to insert records into this database. Let me just reload this. So now let's try adding some record into this database. And let's say Amanda is a female. Let's just say the phone number and enter a random figure. So just click on submit. You can see it's showing over here with registration successful. You can see at the top over here it's showing registration successful. We don't have anything at the moment. Let's just reload this. And then this record is now available in our database. So you've been able to connect this and then actually send record into our database. Now if you check my final project, data is submit, I'm going to show this green background showing it successful. So we can actually do that if we want to. So let's just go ahead and then just play with this. Over here, we can just include some HTML property. So I can just, just create a paragraph and then just give some class. And because I'm using double quotes outside, I have to use a single quote over here. So what is going to be, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say background. And I'm going to say success. Success. And then I need to actually close this as well. So let's just save this. And then we'll go back here. Let's redo really this. You can see it's not showing a green background. It's not showing a green background, but we actually want to use different property. What we use over here, the light green, you can actually do that. And I actually use the alert button. So I use the alert over here. Let's just try and then just change this to alert instead of using the background. So that should look more professional. So I want to see alert, then alert. I'm going to say success. And also, I want to align the text center. So I'm going to say text center. Then just save this. And just save this. And then reload this. You can see now our registration successful is displayed at the middle. And then the background is lighter. Now. now let's finally add another record. We have just one. So let's just add a new one. Let's say coffee. And then let's say. Coffee and this is a mail and then let me add some sort of password and let's submit this. So this is actually going to display so this is actually going to display as registration successful and then it's actually going to display this in the database. So when we reload this, we actually set the ID to auto generate. So the next one should be two. So the next one is to two. I refresh the page so as I keep refreshing the page, it's actually adding Amanda. We've not validated this record. So this is basically how to enter records into the data. So this could be, if I go ahead and reload the page, it's actually going to update this record again. But once this information is validated, you'll be able to add this information and you and you validated this. This record can only appear once in the database. You can see Kofi is already added, but I still have this. We've not validated this. But I'm, I'm, and if you validate this, you can see every record will be very successfully placed and there's no going to be duplicate. I'm doing validation and then also advanced database implementation in this particular channel. Like, subscribe for more.